Let's, I wanted to make a video about mining RTM or Raptorium. As you can see right here, I have a 3950X on HiveOS mining Raptorium. Uh, I also, so I want to show you guys how to do it on HiveOS and on Windows. So let me scroll a few here. And so I wanted to show, here is, so I mine to uh, a pool. I'm, I mined a Rabin Mining's pool. Um, as you can see, that's how much I've mined. Uh, there's some of my workers and stuff. Um, and I don't know if everybody's aware, but um, Raptorium is an algorithm with 19 smaller algorithms in it. So don't be alarmed if your hash rate changes constantly or if you have super high um, hash rate, then all of a sudden it's super low. It's just changing through the algorithms. So let's go ahead and I will show you Hive OS. Uh, so, okay, obviously this is what the worker looks like. You can see I have a 3070Ti there mining some eth hash. You can make your miner on Hive OS to not have a graphics card. I just had it, so I threw it on there. Not a big deal. It's actually cheaper to run just a CPU miner on Hive OS. I think it's three cents a day versus 10 cents with the GPU. Uh, but CPU miners are extremely cheap on Hive OS. So, okay, so here is what my flight sheet looks like. You can see I have Ethereum and then I have the secondary as the RTM. Um, I mine to Zelcor wallet, but you can also use the Raptorium wallet as well. Uh, so because I'm mining to Rabbit's pool, they only list three pools on Hive OS. Um, so I configured that pool in the miner. So I, I use the CPU miner opt. So let's here's what my flight sheet looks like. So once you're in the flight sheet, you just copy and paste that stratum into the pool URL, and I will leave um, a, a copy a copy and paste um, available down below. Uh, just make sure that you also make sure the miner fork is on GR. That is important. Uh, it's not usually on GR by default. So let's take a look at Windows, and then once you do that, you're all squared. You just start the miner, and voila, you can check the pool to make sure that your miner is mining to it. So let's take a look at Windows. So in Windows, this is what the folder looks like, minus the tune config. You won't have a tune config file until you configure your miner. So the new CPU 1.2 miner was released for Windows a couple days ago, um, and unlike 1.9 or I think it was 1.1 whatever the, the minor before you had these like individual files that you would click for each each uh, CPU style and these in this one you actually um, edit a JSON file which it's really simple um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what mine looks like so you can see up there URL you paste in the stratum to the pool you mine to you can bet you can add in a backup pool so sometimes the stratum will disconnect and it'll mine. So I had to mine into Supernova uh, just as a backup. The user would be your wallet address. If you guys want to mine in my wallet, feel free. Um, and then obviously Big Daddy 5900X is my main gaming PC. Uh, I just kind of put it on there. But other than that, the only other thing I changed was Tune Full takes longer but should provide the best results. I turned that from false to true because I wanted to do the full... I think it's 220 minute tune versus just the normal the normal tune. So you put that true, and you don't ever have to change it back. As long as that config file is in the in the file, like how that one is, it won't tune every time. So you can leave it true permanently. So and then once the miner gets going, uh, you'll just want to go check the pool and make sure that's mining. So other than that, um, other than those two things, I will leave copies and pastes down below of the pools. I will leave, um, yeah, basically just the pool. I'll, I'll leave a link for the miner as well. And yeah, if, there, if there's any questions, please direct them down in the comments. This is pretty simple. Um, uh, also like, subscribe, the normal stuff. And then also uh, come mine Ethereum with me on Ezil Pool. Uh, not only are the payouts just as quick as Ethermine, but you also make Zilliqa Q while mining. And it's not, you don't dual mine, it's mining through the pool. So everybody in the pool, I think it's once every 90 minutes, switches to Zilliqa Q for one minute. And then you get a percentage of the Zilliqa Q mined, and then you go right back to Ethereum. 
I actually have just as quick payouts on Ezil, if not quicker sometimes, because it, sometimes a smaller pool, you just get more shares. Now, of course, you know, pool hopping is not an option. You know what I mean? You, the longer you're on a pool, the better it goes. So, um, But switching pools is a piece of cake. Um, I will post a video, probably my next video, on how to mine on Ezil. It just, it's been life-changing. I've made, along with just my Ethereum, I've made almost $500 extra in Zillica just just for mining on the pool. Like, it's just silly. And then I stake the Zillica at 13% um, annual interest. I mean, it's just silly. It's just free money along with my Ethereum. But you guys have a good day, and thanks for watching. Bye.